In this video, we're going to be taking a look at factors and divisibility. Now, today's goal is to be able to determine if numbers are divisible by 2, 3, 5, 6, 9, and 10. We will also look at 7 and 8 as well, but there's not really any tricks for 7 or 8. Now, the key tip for finding a factor, and I want you to write this down in your notes, you always multiply the number by one in itself first. Okay, so I'm going to show you a simple way to find factors, but you always want to start out with the number one and that um, the number itself first, and I'll I'll show you that as we move on. But just write that key tip down in your notes for now. And here's some things that you're going to want to write down in your notes as well. Okay, it's really, really important that you pause this video and I want you to write down this whole entire list right here, okay, where it says a number is divisible by, and these are some rules that you can take to the bank every single time, okay, whenever you're looking at factors and divisibility. Okay, so we're going to take a look at these factors here and I'll just kind of walk you through them as we go through these factors, okay or through these rules here. These are called divisibility rules. Okay, and we're going to use the number 72 as a reference. So the first thing we want to do, if, if we're taking a look at the number 2 or thinking about the number 2 here, okay, we need to see if the number is even. Okay, if the number ends in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8, that means the number is even. You can see with the number 72 right here, it does end in 2, so that number is even, therefore that means that the number 72 is divisible by 2. Okay, that's a pretty easy one. You probably already know that one. Now, we're going to take a look at the next divisibility rule, the divisibility rule of 3. Okay, now we can see that if the sum of the digits of the number is divisible by 2. And what I mean by the sum of the digits, that means if I have the number 72, I add the number 7 plus 2, I know that's going to give me the number 9. And I know the number 9 is divisible by 3. Okay, so since the sum of the digits is divisible by 3, that means the whole entire digit is going to be divisible by 3 as well. Okay. So that's the visibility rule of the number 3. Now let's take a look at the number 4. So if the last two digits are divisible by 4, so no matter how big the number is, if the final two digits are divisible by 4, that means that whole entire number would be divisible by 4 as well. Now taking a look at this, pro at this number, I know that 72 is divisible by 4 because 4 can go into 72 18 times. Okay, now that doesn't really do much for me with the two digit number, but let's say I had the number 1072. Okay, if I had a number like that, I would still look at just this last number here. Okay, and because 72 is divisible by 4, 1072 would be divisible by 4 as well. And actually, 4 goes into 1,072 268 times. Okay, so what we do is look at that f those final two numbers. Okay, the number 5 moving down, pretty simple here. Probably a lot of you know this one. If the last digit is a 0 or a 5, that means it's divisible by 5. Okay, now the number 72 ends in a 2. Okay, so that means right away the number 5 would be out of the picture. Okay, moving down to number 6. Okay, this kind of combines 2 and 3 together, okay? So if the number is divisible by both 2 and 3, so that means the number, first of all, has to be even in order to be divisible by 6, and the sum of the digits have to be divisible by 9. So this number is even, okay? 72 is even, ends in a 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. The sum of the digits equals 9, Therefore, 72 would be divisible by 9. I'm sorry, I'm, I apologize, by 6. Okay. 7 and 8, really tricky, um, really tricky rules for those. We're not going to get into that. The number 9 kind of goes along with the number 3. However, it deals with just the number 9. So if the sum of the digits is divisible by 9, once again, we add the digits together. 7 plus 2 is going to give me 9. 
I know 9 is divisible by 9, therefore 72 would be divisible by 9. Let's say I had the number 172. 1 plus 7 equals 8, plus 2 equals 10. Okay, 10 is not divisible by 9, therefore 172 would not be divisible by 9. And then finally, the number 10, if the final digit ends in a 0, okay, that means it's divisible by 10. 72 does not, so it would not be divisible by 10. Now, what I want you to do, I know I talked a lot about divisible and divisibility rules and things like that. And what I want you to do, along with writing down this list, and this list of numbers divisible by list or divisibility rule list is something that you're going to want to refer to throughout this video, and especially when you get into your um, work um, and going over factors and divisibility. So what I want you to do is write not only this down, but also over here, a number is divisible by another when the quotient is a whole number and the remainder is zero. Okay, so um, that means it's divisible. I think we pretty much got that. In other words, 2 or 72 is divisible by 2. 2 can go into 72 36 times without anything left over. Okay, now a factor, what I mean by a factor, that is a whole number that goes into any other whole number evenly. Okay, so 3 would be considered a factor of 72. 10 would not because it does not go into 72 evenly. Okay. Now one final thing I want you to write down, you can use the divisibility rules above or to the left to help find factors of a number. We already talked about that. When you know one factor of a number, you can divide the number by the known factor to find another factor. The two factors are called a factor pair. So in other, in other words, 3 and 24 would be a factor pair of 72 because both of those 3 times 4 um, give me the, the answer of 72. So I want you to write all this down in your notes. I know it's a lot. We're going to get into finding factors of certain numbers. Okay, we're going to take a look at the factor, find all the factors of the number 42. You can see I have my little cheat sheet right up here I'm going to refer to, and I want you to do that as well whenever you're going through this video or your work on factors and divisibility. Okay, now the first thing we want to do, we talked about that key tip. We always want to write the number 1 and the, the number itself first. Okay, and I'm going to write 1 and 24. So what we're thinking about is we're thinking about all of the multiplication problems that equal the number 42 evenly. Okay, so right, around, right away we do 1 and 42. And I want you to write the 1 on the left-hand side and the 42 on the right-hand side just like this. This is a simple way to keep track and make sure you have every factor and you're not missing any. Okay, the next one would be, I look at my divisibility rules, the number is even, so I know 2 goes into 42. How many times or what times 2 gives us 42 and that's 21. Okay, next divisibility rule, 3. If the sum of the digits are divisible by 3, I know 4 and 2 gives me 6. So 3 would go into 42. 3 goes into 42, actually 14 times. Okay, moving on to the next one, 4. That does not go into 42. 5, I know the last digit is, is if it's 0, 5, it goes into to it. Last digit is not 0, 5. 6. Okay, the sum, uh, it's an even number. The sum of the digits is divisible by 3. So I know that 6 goes into 42, and 6 times 7 gives me 42. Okay, now whenever I have the numbers on the left and the numbers on the right joining together like I have here, in other words, there's not another digit between 6 and 7 that we could use, that means we've listed all the factors. So we could say that the factors of 42 would be 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 14, 21, and 42. Now we're going to take a look at all the factors of the number 10. The first thing we want to do is always start out with the number 1 and that number itself. You can see I give myself a lot of space to list all the factors even though it may not take up the whole entire area. So 1 and then 10. Now what I think about here is the number 2. Okay, if the number is even, 10 is even, so 2 times what number gives me 10 gives 5. Okay. Now I don't need to go through and see a 4 is 
a factor because I've already written down five. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is, and I and I can even see that I have the number four that's been written down. So I'm okay if I even look at the number three. Okay, I know that's the sum of the digit is not divisible by ten. The number four. Okay, we don't need to even go into that because we already wrote down the number five. So there are not any other numbers between two and five that are divisible by ten. So since that's the case, that means we have listed all the factors. Okay, so the factors of 10 would be 1, 2, 5, and 10. Now I have the number 17. The first thing I want to do is write down the number 1 and 17. Okay, whenever you have a number, you want to think of your basic multiplication facts. So think about what can be multiplied to get to 17. And there's not really a basic fact that's coming to my mind, so I'm going to go through my divisibility rules. 2, the number is not even. 3, the sum of, of the digits is not divisible by 3. 4, the last two digits that I see, 17, is not divisible by 4. If I look at the number 5, the last digit is not a 0 or a 5, so that does not work. Look at the number 6. Okay, both 2 and 3 are not divisible, so 6 will not be divisible either. 9, the sum of the digits is not divisible by 9. 10, the last digit is not divisible by 10. I'm sorry, it does not end in 0. Okay, so because of that, I've gone through all my divisibility rules. I even think about 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All do not go into 17 at all. 17 is actually a prime number. Okay, so whenever you have a prime number, the only factors of a prime number would be 1 in itself. So 1 and 17 would be the factors of the number 17. So I want you to get out your notes and work this problem through with me. Okay, we have the number 30. The first thing we're going to write down is 1 and 30. Okay, we go to the number 2. I know that 2 is even. So 2, I think about times 15, or 2 goes into 30 15 times. You can think of it that way. Either way it would work. We come to the number 3. The sum of the digit is divisible by 3. Well, I know 3 and 0 will give me 3. Okay, so 3 goes into 30 10 times, or 3 times 10 gives me 30. Now, 4 does not work. The last two digits are not divisible by 4. 5 does work, okay, because this, the final digit ends in 0 or 5, so I will write 5 down. And 5 times what number gives me 30, or 5 goes into 30, how many times? 6 times. Okay, now on the left-hand side I have 5, the right-hand side I have 6. There are not any other numbers, obviously, between 5 and 6 that are divisible by 30. So now we know that we can finish with our factors. Okay, so the factors of 30 would be 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15, and 30. I want you to do this problem with me as well. We have 45. We always start out with the number 1 and the number itself, 45. Okay, I go to the number 2. 45 does not end in an even number, so I can skip that. 4 and 5 does equal 9. Okay, so I know 9 is divisible by 3, and 3 times 15 gives me 45. Now I know 4 does not go into 45, because okay, 45, 4 times 11 is 44, so that does not work. Now I do know that 5 goes into 45, because 45 ends in a 5, and it's 5 times 9. Now what I need to do is think about 6, 7, and 8. I know 6 does not go into 45, because it's not an even number. 7 does not. 7 times 7 gives me 49. 8 does not. Okay, so now I've come to a number that's in the right-hand side, so I can stop. So my factors of 45 would be 1, 3, 5, 9, 15, and 45. Now what I want you to do is find the factors of 18, 20, and 19, and when you find the factors, you can press play, and I will have the answers for you. Okay, so here are the answers to your three problems. We have 18, 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. For 20, we have 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. And 19, since it's a prime number, there aren't any other numbers that go into it other than 1 in itself, so the factors would be 1 and 19. So this is how you find factors of a number. If you have any questions about this concept, please come and see me.